Oh, no, no, kick left, kick left, kick left, four. Well, it looks like my golf game needs plenty of work, but what better way to practice than the fifth annual CYO Golf Classic? Held last Thursday at the North Hills Country Club in Manhasset, Long Island, the outing welcomed over 100 golf enthusiasts of all skill levels to play a challenging round on the links. This year, the Classic raised $125,000 yes. to benefit yeah, the athletic that. and spiritual needs of the youth of Brooklyn and Queens. There is a purpose for this, and the purpose is charitable. The purpose is to help uh, our young men and women uh, in CYO, so it's a wonderful. It's been a landmark year for CYO, thanks to new director Rob Caldera and the diocesan staff. The organization hosted its first Hall of Fame induction ceremony in May, and just began a summer basketball league this week. We've accomplished so much as a team with all the members in our office and the cooperation of all the parishes. Our programs are growing. We introduced many new programs over this year with, with preseason tournaments and volleyball holiday tournaments and bringing the children out to uh, community outreach out in Madison Square Garden, the Barclays Center. We're really, really growing and looking forward to continue the growth in our diocese. With 20,000 kids from 100 parishes playing 15 sports, running CYO may seem like a daunting task. Just like me trying to get out of this sand trap. But the efforts of everyone involved allow for the organization's smooth operation. This year's honoree was former NYPD Chief of Department Joseph Esposito, a longtime supporter of CYO sports and the longest serving Chief of Department for 12 years. I chose uh, Chief Esposito because he's always been community-minded. He's always been a, f uh, a good friend of the Diocese of Brooklyn. He went to school there. He grew up there. He, he lives in, in the Diocese of Brooklyn. He goes to church every Sunday. He's a good Catholic, and he's always looking to give back. He's a man of service, and I thought he was an excellent choice. He's a good role model uh, for young people and, and for the whole city. I mean, you could take a test. Anyone could study for a test, and he did that. But uh, compassion is not something that you could study for. The man has it in him, way more than, you know, being a chief. He's, he's a compassionate, caring individual. He deserves this honor that's bestowed upon him. He's good with the CYO and the church, and I just think it's, uh, he's a great honoree. And the reason I attained what I attained in my life was because of my Catholic upbringing. Uh, CYO was part of it. I was, a, I was a choir boy, CYO, the sports programs, uh, Boy Scouts, all of that. And uh, if it wasn't for that, I never would have been standing here today. I'm extremely grateful today for the support of all the people here at this golf outing because it truly helps support all the thousands of children that we have in our diocese and our programs. They had a good day playing golf, but their main reason is for the kids and support our programs and our diocese for CYO. So with another golf classic in the books, the CYO will once again have enough funds to support another entire year of youth sports in the diocese. Now that's a real hole in one. Reporting for Currents, I'm Jim Mancari.